Uh, before we get to the highlights of the Denver Nuggets and Portland Trailblazers, I think it's worth uh, revisiting opening night back on December 22nd. Um, and I guess, I guess we were talking fan duel and, and we were talking about uh, odds of teams going <laughs> all the way. And, and then something um. caught Chuck's eye and he decided to do this. I want a hundred thousand dollars. Get out of here! Hundred thousand dollar bet. I want a hundred thousand oh, dollars on the Portland Trail Blazers to win the West. Get that done tomorrow. Hundred thousand dollars on the Portland Trail Blazers to make hey, it son. to the finals. I told you, this the only guy no, to win the win the West to make it to the NBA Finals. Yes, they, they are going to win the West. Yes. And how much would you have won? 2.8 million. How much well, did you, you lose? You know what? That's not happening. 000. How much did you lose? 100,000? No, 100 plus the tax that they charge you to send it in. You Come saw on. Dame Lillard get the uh, Teammate of the Year award, the Twyman uh, Stokes Trophy. Oh. And then Denver's Michael Porter Jr. Ooh, coming came out, out came firing. Out like Devin Booker. You could have yeah. just put $100,000 in the furnace and heat your house up. Yeah, each of those guys <laughs> tied Antoine Walker's record for uh, threes and a quarter. With wow. Antoine, what's up, Big Twan? Hey, Antoine. Listen, Antoine, the greatest line ever. Why do you shoot so many threes? Because there ain't no fours. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, kidding. no kidding. That's good. It, I, I like, the, you know I like to gamble. You got a 50% chance of winning every no, time. No, you know what? That wasn't 50%. Yeah, you do. You're either going to win or lose. That's 50-50, no. dude. No, 50-50 to get to the final. <laughs> no, no, that that's not fifty. No, they do. Was, there was you, you're the win or lose. other teams that you had a chance <laughs> to beat. Tell him, Shaq, that's 50-50, isn't it? That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that, that's my gas story. Welcome yes, to is. Losing Gambling Strategy with Charles Barkley. <laughs> that's not 50-50. 50-50 uh, is winning this game. Dame Lillard stepping back. Portland, 68-61 at the half. And they would increase the lead in the third quarter, trying to stay alive in the series and force a game seven. And then C.J. McCollum. And that bad defense came back to bite them. McCollum for three. They got to they gotta make some different. Um, you know, you know what they got to do? They got to do exactly what the Milwaukee Bucks did. Go out and get them three dogs like Portis, Drew Holiday, and P.J. Tucker. So they're up 14, and then Denver closes the quarter 19 to 8 to get right back in this thing. The Joker there. You know, one thing and about then the, working on Covington here, Shaq. Well, yeah, he's too little. He is too little. One thing about the Joker, Ernie, he never panics. Yep. Up, down, plays one way. He How about plays. this Monte Morris into the end of oh, the third? Oh, that's good right there, Ernie. Yes, it is. Cuts it to 101-98. He played great uh, in the last game, but it's solid this game. Yeah, 22 at 28 last game, 22 this game, off the bench, and he bang, bang. knocks bang, down that bang. three. And then when the Joker connected bang. here, the Blazers had the lead and would not trail the rest of the way, though the Blazers would tie it at 108. But Bang. Monte. Come on, man. Stop giving up layups. Damn. Five-point game. Austin Rivers. Damn. Go. Trying to get that super Joker. Max, ain't he, Chuck? Hey, oh, come on, man. <laughs> Watch this dude guard this little dude. Oh, man, feet work, Ernie. Yes, He's too little, come on, they do way too little. That's like me. Don't switch that, man up. Come on, man. From the time that the Blazers had that 14-point lead with a little over four the minutes best. to go in the third Bang. quarter, Bang. in 16 minutes and 15 seconds, Denver outscored them 47 to 22. And with that, they <sighs> advance to the Western Conference semifinals. 126 to 115 the final. 14th win for Denver when they trail going to the fourth quarter. 14 and 19 in that department. Points in the paint for Denver. 50 to 38, fast break. 18 to 10, second chance points. 19 to 8, bench. 34 25. A lot of numbers in the Nuggets' favor, including that final score. And now, some post-game yakety yak. It wasn't about weathering their storm. It was about us being the storm. It was us bringing it from the get-go. And even when things weren't going our way and it, it looked a little bleak, staying with it, staying connected, staying positive, and that allows you to come out of it on the other side. So uh, what it says about our team is that we understand when we play a certain way, a certain style of basketball, we're a really tough team to beat. My job security, um, I'm under contract for two more years. Um, I'm sure 
just like at the end of every year, we're all evaluated. Players, coaches, management, we're all evaluated. So uh, we'll see what happens. But, you know, at the end of a season when you lose, everybody's evaluated. I mean, we didn't win a championship, so um, obviously what where we are now isn't good enough. I don't know what, what a shakeup looks like or uh, what changes uh, will be made or could be made. But um, obviously, as is, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough. Obviously, where we are, isn't good enough to to win the championship if it's not good enough for us to get out of a, a first round series. Nurk, do you want to be back next year? Like, do you want to be back on this team next season? In the right situation, yes. What is the right situation? We'll see. I don't know yet, because this is not it. It's Yes. <laughs> yeah. You got it right, Spanky. Hey. Well, that is Spanky from a little right. <laughs> You're right, Damon. Hey, Spanky. Uh, Never go to Vegas with Charles yes. Barkley. Hey, I man, don't know. Hey, that, hey, hey, let's play the roulette rule. You got a 50 50 chance. Yeah. No, you, you broke don't. too, baby. Hey, hey, uh, hey, listen, man. I feel good about my bet. Sucker. Yeah, uh, that's it. That was a definite yeah. salt. Yeah, before we talk, Denver, why don't we um, let's let's wrap up Portland's season uh, as they fall 126-115 at home in Game Six and are knocked out in the first round. And uh, after a 42 and 30 regular season, uh, you see Mello, Cantor, Powell, free agents, and uh, Dame and CJ knocked out in the first round. Kenny. Well, you know, you, you, it, it's interesting that the first thing that you hear is, you know, job security, shakeups, all of those things right after loss. No, you know, they're not going to have that kind of same kind of conversation with the Lakers, other things. But Portland has, has plateaued, it seems like. You have three or four years where you're kind of hitting the same spot. They did get to the um, – They got the Western, Western Conference, Conference Finals, Finals a couple years ago. A couple years ago. And they got swept. And Yeah, got swept. But then they really haven't changed the dynamic of what they're doing. Um for me, again, I think that it is some personnel issues. Uh, you have a lot of guys that, you know, that have that do great things on the offensive end, but then those little things that are, are big, uh, as Shaq says, as those others, those others win you championships. You know, those others uh, allow you to uh, to be the big dog and flourish. You see LeBron James today. You know, j just allow, having guys that can complement and give you space, give you opportunity, and give you freedom uh, to be your, the, like the best one-on-one -on -one player. I always say, the, as the great blessed soul Kobe Bryant, had the luxury of playing with Shaq and, and never get double teamed. Like he's the best one-on-one -on -one player in the world. As Kobe Bryant was, and when he played with Shaq, he never got double teamed. That's freedom. Because, and then you put Rick Fox, you put Rob Ory, who was spacers, he could never be double teamed. And so he has a, he's, has a freedom. Dame Lillard gets freedom occasionally, but then defensively, Chuck, yeah. they, they, you know, they're all I don't know if it's Zach Collins as well, another guy. Who you know play. I love Zach Collins. Yeah, but they but just he, don't have he, enough he, defensively deterrent, De yeah. defensive deterrence. You don't have to be stoppers, but you have to be a deterrent. Yeah, uh, they're good enough offensively. They're awful defensively, and the coach has to take some responsibility for that because he's not demanding it. If people tell you you're bad all the time, you, your coach got to say, no, no, we got to get better defensively. And if you can't be bad every year. But also, uh, to, I, I compare them to the Milwaukee Bucks. I said it earlier. The Milwaukee Bucks says, we're not standing pat. We are, we're not good enough to win. They went out and got some dogs. Drew Holiday, Bobby Porters, and uh, P.J. Tucker. Ernie, you have to have those guys. Those are, those are three of the toughest, best defenders in the NBA who I just mentioned. And they don't have any of those guys. They are great on offense. They're awful on defense. And they're better. You should not have the best guard combination. Obviously, uh, Clay's out. Him and Steph, are in, they're, they're the best. But you should not have the best guards in the NBA and lose all the time. Fourth right. time in the last five appearances knocked out in the first round. Anything more on Portland, or do you want to talk Denver? It might be. So, well, yeah, let's talk Denver. But just one last thing on Portland. It might be time to do something else. Because Kenny, you make a great point at Plateau. Doing the same thing for the last three, four, five years. Might be time to do something different. 
Denver. I like the way they're playing. I like the way Michael Porter Jr. is playing. Uh, Jokic is my MVP right now. I like the fact that when they're down, you never see panic on his face. When he gets in foul trouble, you never see panic on his face. And they trust each other. Uh, you know, that everybody's playing well. The others are playing well. Jokic is playing great. Denver is looking very good. Yeah. This uh, next series is going to be a, a and, very, very yeah, interesting. It's interesting exactly you said about the MVP because the reason he's the MVP is what's happening tonight. It is what he does, but he's available. And Embiid is hurt. So if Embiid never gets hurt, he probably wins the award. But the fact that Joker always has been there, and it just and it's 34. just right. He gets this, and he's getting those astronomical numbers. Make then you have look to say too. Yeah, make he's available. It, it has nothing to do with anything else but availability between the two of those guys winning the MVP. Award. Twenty-seven of his thirty-six points in the second half tonight. Now you got Phoenix and Denver in the next round. Chuck, what's your early take? Ah, ah, ah. What are they starting at? Denver's got, I mean, Phoenix has Phoenix home got court. the home court. Man, I don't know Ernie right now. I have to. Well, come on, you, that, you get paid to answer right yeah, hit now. Hit that I, button. Hit that button. You know, I, I, I get you know, paid to answer My right heart, now. my heart's always going to say my sons. All right, who's going to win game one? I think Denver's going to win the series. I do. I think Denver's going to win the series. Uh, wow. I do. I hate to pick against my sons. If you ask me right now, and listen, our job is to be honest. We're not here to make friends. Our job is to be honest. I, I think Denver's going to win that series. Kenny? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. This is, this is a... We get paid to make the choice. <laughs> <laughs> this is an even series. I, I would say the difference... Answer is the going question, to be, man. Answer the question. You just think, yelled at me and told me to answer the question. You took your time. Can I Ernie. take mine, too? Look. Phoenix and six, Ernie. Phoenix and thank you very much. Okay. Jeez, answer the question. I don't care what you think. He, that, who's going to win the series? I, I, I can't give you numbers like six and five and four. Well, who's going to win the series? I, 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 my, my thing is also tell you why. Kenny. The people want. Kenny. I, just don't I know, you. but it has to be during this show. Hey, Kenny. I, I, I'm going to, <laughs> I, I would have said it if y'all had let me talk by now. But I'm going to go with the Phoenix Suns. Thank you. Just Chuck's got Denver. I think, I think, Chuck, you I got think, Denver. I think Aiton will pose a different problem on the defensive end where Joker will only be perimeter. perimeter. He won't be perimeter and he won't and, and at the same time interior. He would only have one advantage. Glad we waited for that explanation. Going on the board. You want to bet $100,000? I don't know if somebody's out there might want to bet $100,000. Kenny's got 000. the Suns in no particular number of games, no, no, no. and Chuck has Denver in. You want to, you want to no, pick a number? No, 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 he doesn't. All right. Numbers now. When I ask Chuck for five bucks next week. <laughs> <laughs> Adam left. Adam though. left. Hey, Adam. Adam. I got Adam. you, Adam. I miss Hello, you, brother. brother. I hope you're oh, still from, that's, from, that's a clip from Ozark, man. That's a great show. Um, what is that, Armadillo? <laughs> <laughs> I know they'd be nice to be able to do that.